And here it is, everyone, the awaited match between myself versus Magnitude. I'm going to slow this one down just a little bit, just because I want to talk a bit more during this, because I am excited. I am excited. Yes, because that is actually Magnitude on the other side of the screen. Can you believe it? Oh! Anyways, starting off with the hack, see this is a Hydro Pump, which I know I could live, because this is Novelty, Magma Trap, Heatran, with uh, Special Defense EVs. But uh, he doesn't feel too confident, and he probably thought I would switch anyways. But he Draco Meteors, I guess, not wanting to predict too early. But Giratina the Jirachi can take that quite handily. And uh, yeah, I was like really nervous during this thing, because it's freaking magnitude. But yeah, get over it, man. Just a person. But he's really cool. He's a nice guy. If you all could battle him, I would really advise that. Anyways, he ice beams, predicting I would go back to Salamence, but uh, I just really wanted to U-turn. I didn't really predict that. I thought he would Hydro Pump, and I just expected to live it. But anyways, that's what happened. Um, and yeah, because he's locked in on ice beam, I think he's locked in. I go to Heatran, and because I know he has to switch, I roar to scout out some more of his team. And the Starmie comes back in, and I was like, oh, are you serious? Bring out anything else. But uh, he hydro pumps now, and this is where you could see how I would have lived it, but I would not have been at full HP at this point in time, so I would not have stayed in for that. But what can you do? And I earth power. So that kills it, and that is amazing. So there goes his ziggurat the Gyarados and despite me having Roar uh, I think he's gonna waterfall just to kill me anyways to get me out of there and uh, I go to this thing to intimidate it trying to take the waterfall but he Dragon Dances because he's pro and he knew I wouldn't stay in but uh, he's at neutral attack right now and I don't know if he has taunt but I'm gonna risk it just because he may want to go for more attack boosts and I toxic it and that's awesome because that thing's gonna slowly get whittled away and I have like two three guys with intimidate so I can like shuffle that around anyways he waterfalls and I wanted to stone edge but I flinch because um, I just do I don't feel like doing anything but uh yeah stone edge wouldn't have killed it but it would have whittled him down even more and uh, this is where I decide to go for more Intimidates. And here he gets uh, Pointless Hacks because apparently he has Stone Edge. And because I was an idiot and was too busy talking to him on MSN at the time of the battle, I missed him missing a Stone Edge, which you are about to see. And I thought he just Dragon Danced to get more attacks. So there's me looking like a noob depending on hacks to roost up. And it sure as hell does look like that but this is why that's why I stayed in and dragon danced if you were wondering why I looked like an idiot in his video and I take a stone edge and I face palm myself at this moment because I thought I was gonna die and I was an idiot and uh yeah I don't know what the hell I was thinking I thought he would switch maybe because the poison's racking up I don't know I was it was like 1 a.m. or something like that uh, so yeah, and predicting he's going to Stone Edge again or Waterfall just to ensure it hits and kill me, I go back to this guy, but luckily he does Stone Edge, and I take that surprisingly well, because he's back at normal attack, I think, and then the Toxic's going to finish him off, so that was cool. Oh yeah, he wouldn't switch out because Stealth Rock was up, and it would just be pointless. Yes, that's why he stayed in. He's He's quite smart. Anyways... Brings in the Latias, and I just want to die. I want to switch into something, but I live, surprisingly. To both our surprise, I live, and at 7, too. And uh, I am able to land a Toxic on the Latias. But I pretty I found out later that his was Scarfed, and if it's Timid, I could believe that. But if it's Modest, I am still shocked. So if it is Timid, uh, I don't know. Let me know, but... Uh, actually, maybe not. Don't want to give it away so other people that are going to battle you uh, find out how fast you are. So just ignore that. 
anyways, I wish up, and Surf still does nothing to me, and he was, again, surprised, so he decides to get out of there, and I uh, U-turn to pass the wish off to, yes, Salamence, that's what I wanted to do, because it was low, and I thought it would still be useful, and also I get to land an Intimidate on the Electivire, so that's really nice, and I'm thinking he's got to have Ice Punch or HP Ice, because it's Electivire, and... I switch out to Metagross, which he hasn't seen yet, and he still does not care to overpredict. But that allows me to get up a rock polish, and now Metagross is super, super, super fast. And uh, his stuff has leftovers, so that's cool to know. That's why Stealth Rock is there. Breaking Sashes and Scouting Items, and uh, Life Orb Mash is going to take out the Azelf. And I was just, like, uber excited, because I was actually not getting fully destroyed, which, I don't know. Usually when I tend to face famous people, I let it go to my head, which I should really not do. Um, anyways, I miss a Meteor Mash, which is funny and gay. And he surfs, and I should have rock polished here, because he's faster. And uh, I miss a Meteor Mash again, which sucks because it's like 85 accuracy, and I went 33% on it, so where's the logic in that? Anyways, he surfs and he does kill me, but Toxic finishes him off as well. So, um, waiting. He brings back in the Electivire, and I bring in Heatran, because, I don't know, I expected him to Earthquake. I did not predict anything there, despite what you all may think. I was just careless. And he decided to overpredict, and that was pretty cool, I guess, because it allowed me, allowed me to finish off the Electivire. And uh, his last guy is his epically famous Mace Windu, which you all know. And I miss Magma Storm, but I don't really care; it didn't really matter. Um, and he's gonna crit me for pointlessness, and I'm going to crit him with a flamethrower for more pointlessness. So thank you so much, Magnitude, for the battle. It I. Thank you, I've gotten like a lot more subscribers since you posted your version of it, so it looks like I'll be doing another special video pretty soon, but um, uh, yeah, like I just can't say it enough. Thank you for the battle magnitude. I want you guys to rate, comment, subscribe, and just thank magnitude for this epic battle. See ya.